Hi everyone. I rec uh, I thought I'd tell some jokes today because uh, I recently got into comedy and I did it twice already and it was open mic comedy and I didn't do so well um, because uh, I just I I it was just too awkward. I created some awkward moments, but I think the next time I do uh, the next time I do it, I'll have a system and. Uh, uh, but yeah, I'll think about that more. Um, but I thought I'd, since I, since my debut, I guess you could say, I, I thought I'd tell some jokes and one-liners and, uh, uh, things like that. And, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do that for you today. See, see if I can, uh, still show that I'm funny. So, I have, um, I have a... I, there's an app of jokes on my phone, and I thought I'd, uh, tell the ones that I, tell the ones that I love. Um, so I'll start, okay, so I'll start with some one-liners. If smoking weed destroys your short-term memory, then what does smoking weed do? If your pet rock, if... If you pet your pet rock enough times, it will erode and you'll be alone again. Hey, guys, is your refrigerator running? Because I don't like any of the current presidential candidates. I bet snowmen think it's weird that the ground is completely covered in their skin. Okay, uh, this one will, will blow your mind. Is it crazy how saying sentences backwards creates backwards sentences saying how crazy it is? Weird, huh? So, if a coworker asks to borrow your pen, sniff it and say, I think this one is safe, and see if they'll take it from your hand. I'm gonna do that someday. Okay, this one I, uh, I apologize. I, I, I find this hilarious, but it's a menstrual related joke, so it'd be weird if I was telling it. But. Getting your period it's like your uterus just spent the last three weeks getting the baby's room ready only to find out that you didn't get pregnant and trashes the entire house out of anger. <laughs> I love that. Don't you hate it when someone answers their own questions? I do. <laughs> to the guy who parked his Lexus across two parking spaces, your car got paint on my keys. Something's up with this bottle of whiskey, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. <laughs> uh, that's just weird, but you might be <laughs> you might be a redneck if you think the styrofoam cooler is the greatest invention of all time. <laughs> Violently swerving your car will throw a spider off the window. Doesn't work like it does with humans, just in case you need to know. If you don't want to seem dumb, don't say, I don't know. Say, I hesitate to articulate in fear that I may deviate from the highest degree of accuracy. Okay, this one I posted on my Facebook uh, the other day. A limbo dancer walks into a bar. He gets disqualified. Statistically, six out of seven dwarves aren't happy. <laughs> the, the, the most brutal thing. The most brutal thing about an intervention is that it gathers most of the reasons you drink into one room and they won't let you drink. Make your day more fun by going up to a stranger and asking, Hey, how have you been since the amnesia? I count myself as a pacifist. If anybody gets me mad, I'll just pacifist across their face. <laughs> There's a fine line between a numerator and a denominator, but only a fraction of you guys will get it. So my wife told me to take a spider out instead of killing it. We went and had some drinks. He's a cool guy. He wants to be a lawyer. Oh, 
I got so drunk last night that I baked a pizza for 425 minutes at 15 to 17 degrees. <laughs> you know, if you think about it, that's actually slow cooking a pizza, so... So I was in a restaurant and I noticed my waitress had a black eye, so I ordered very slowly because she obviously doesn't listen. <laughs> so this is a joke about a little one-liner joke about a, a prostate exam and asking your doctor where you should put your pants. Well, over there next to mine is not the answer that you're looking for. <laughs> I'd like to sit outside on campus at night in my 1940s clothes, and when people say things to me, I say, You can see me? I, I want to do that someday. So I, uh, I, I'm, I'm into some, uh, Chuck Norris kind of jokes. I just, I just love these. I'm changing the category now, so it's Chuck Norris, uh, facts. When Chuck Norris smells something bad, the smell goes away. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, and Chuck Norris die and go to heaven. They see God sitting on his throne and beside him is an empty seat. God says to them, only one of you can have this seat. Tell me why you believe you should have it. Arnold says, I believe I deserve that seat because I have given back to the community by showing the importance of physical fitness. Sylvester says, I believe that I deserve that seat because I've been a good role model by teaching people to stand up for themselves. Chuck Norris then goes to God, looks at him, and says, I believe you are sitting in my seat. <laughs> Chuck Norris drove his mother to the hospital to give birth to him. <laughs> Even blind people faint at the sight of Chuck Norris. <laughs> Chuck Norris once threw a grenade into a room, and he killed three people. Then the grenade exploded. <laughs> Chuck Norris will never have a heart attack. His heart isn't nearly foolish enough to attack him. <laughs> Chuck Norris can set ants on fire with a magnifying glass at night. When the boogeyman goes to sleep, he checks his closet for Chuck Norris. <laughs> Chuck Norris can win a game of Connect Four in only three moves. <laughs> Chuck Norris actually killed Waldo, but he asks the world where Waldo is so they will never find out. <laughs> Chuck Norris won Iron Chef with a hot pocket. <laughs> I'm gonna um, change it up here to some jokes that are that are more like little short stories, you know, that they're short jokes. They're, they're longer than one-liners. There was a church that had a bell that no one would, could ring. One day a boy came and asked the priest if he could uh, try. He went up to the tower and ran straight to the bell face first. The bell tolled loud and clicked. The priest gave him the job. And one Sunday the boy ran straight towards the bell with his face and missed, so he fell off the tower and died. Then later, um, the priest asked congregation, uh, does anybody know this boy's name? I don't know him, but his face rings a bell. <laughs> I, I think that was going to be uh, predictable. A priest concludes his service by saying, next Sunday I'm going to preach the subject of liars, and in preparation for my discourse, I would like you all to read the 17th chapter of Mark. The following Sunday, the preacher says, Now all of you who have done as I requested and read the 17th chapter of Mark, please raise your hands. Nearly every hand in the congregation goes up. The preacher continues, You are the people I wanted to talk to. There is no 17th chapter of Mark. <laughs> Alright, this is just stupid, but I love it. I saw someone fly backwards off a treadmill today. I laughed so hard, and I fell off the cross trainer I was on which made the girl next to me laugh so hard that she slipped off hers. It was 7.30 in the morning, and there was just three of us on the floor of the gym crying with laughter and in varying degrees of pain. <laughs> I love that. That's so corny. 
I was in a public restroom, and I was barely sitting down when I heard a voice in the other stall saying, Hi, how are you? Embarrassed, I said, I'm fine. So, what are you up to? And then I was like, uh, I'm just like you, just sitting here. And they're like, can I come over? And I said, well, no, I'm a little busy right now. And then they said, listen, I'll have to call you back. There's an idiot in the other stall who keeps answering all my questions. <laughs> a guy walked into a bar and asked for a uh, vodka and coke. I said, we only have Pepsi, is that okay? He said, sure. Then I handed him a Pepsi and Coke. Which I'll, I might say doesn't sound bad. Ladies and gentlemen, hobos and tramps, cross-eyed mosquitoes and bow-legged ants, I stand before you to stand behind you to address you, not undress you. That next Thursday, which is Good Friday, there's a Mother's Day meeting for fathers only. Admission is free, so pay at the door. Grab a chair and sit on the floor. I'm here to tell you about something I know nothing about. One fine day in the middle of the night, two dead boys got up to fight. Back to back, they faced each other, drew their swords, and shot each other. The deaf policeman heard the noise and came to arrest the two dead boys. If you don't believe this lie is true, ask the blind man, because he saw it too. <laughs> I love that. So I normally don't like blonde jokes because it's about judging people based on what they look like. But I, I, I do get a kick out of some of them. A robber comes into a store and steals a TV. A blonde uh, runs after him and shouts, wait, you forgot the remote. <laughs> I was in the hospital with uh, my blonde friend, but don't worry, he's going to be fine. Let's just say the Dyson ball cleaner is not what he thought it was. Oh, that's terrible. A man is cheating on his blonde girlfriend and puts a condom in his wallet. Going through his pants, uh, one day she finds it and unsure of what it is, she asks her boyfriend. He's thinking quickly, he says, Oh, that's a condom, and it goes over your cigarettes so you can smoke in the rain. They sell them at the pharmacy. Believing him, she goes to the pharmacy and asks for some condoms. No problem, says the clerk. What size would you like? She replies, just big enough to fit a camel. God, it's terrible. So, yeah, those were some of the jokes I like to tell. and uh, They were a little corny. I don't... I don't I, when I tried to do comedy, I don't know how well I did it. Um... But I will say that this was the second time I did jokes here on YouTube. Uh, because early on, back uh, last August, I did some jokes which were from Pinterest. And, uh, I could have done more of those, I guess. Uh, so, um, But yeah, if you'd like to share some jokes with me, uh, leave them right down there in the comments. And uh, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>